Okay, hi everyone, welcome back and in today's update we are going to check out ICP's price chart and see what is happening specifically in the short term and why do I think this week is actually going to be a bit of a bullish one for us and hopefully we are going to recover rather quickly from the recent crashing event but before we get into all that good stuff at first we are going to talk about this very important article about caffeine and this is actually a combination of this article and my own thoughts and i'm going to tell you first why caffeine in my view does actually have a decent chance of working out and attracting a good amount of adoption so already let's talk about the reason one by one and i think first off we have to talk about the fact that caffeine solves a real problem you see most AI coding tools that we have seen so far, like for example Copilot or maybe Cursor or some others, they are still assistants in a way that they actually help you write code, sure, but they don't really build, deploy, or maintain full applications. You still need a developer team for that, and Caffeine in here is actually a bit different, you see? With the help of Caffeine AI, you just describe what you want, and it actually builds it for you, it launches it, and even updates the application by itself and this whole process in caffeine is absolutely smooth and that in my view is a massive deal for startups and companies that don't really want to spend a fortune on engineers now what makes this quite a bit more in my view interesting is the tech stack behind it because as i'm sure you all know it by now caffeine runs on icp using its own language called motoko and this setup is actually made for artificial intelligence driven development meaning it actually fixes a lot of usual ai coding issues like for instance maybe data loss broken updates or even security bugs features like orthogonal persistent remove the need for traditional databases and loss safe data migration this specific feature actually makes sure that artificial intelligence updates don't really accidentally delete anything and on top of that icp's chain key cryptography makes the code tamper proof and that my friends is a solid foundation for production applications not just demos and a lot of other platforms aren't really benefiting from this very very important features you can even think about the top platforms for instance lovable or base 44 they don't really have these features i promise you that now At this point, you might say, well, okay, these are just on paper. Well, not really. You see, it's very important to note that prior to the actual launch and being accessible to the public completely, Caffeine did actually have some early users. And if you check out Twitter, you realize that the overall thoughts on Caffeine was very much positive. And by the way, now that we have it fully accessible to the public, okay, here is a challenge for you, in fact. Build whatever you want with caffeine and then see is the process beautiful and smooth or not. If it was, well, okay, I think we can all at that point safely assume that these advantages are not just on paper, they actually work beautifully. Then there is the decentralized factor. You see, applications made with caffeine actually live fully on chain, you know it, on ICP, not on something like AWS or Google Cloud. That means no lock-ins, no shutdowns, and full ownership over your code and data. And for enterprises and also governments that care about control and sovereignty, that is kind of a big reason to pay attention to this product. And finally, it's very important to understand that caffeine isn't just coming out of nowhere. No, it is built on top of the internet computer, which has been running since 2021 with live applications, DAOs, and developers already building on it. So essentially, this is a beautiful, advanced, very much mature product. And when you consider all that, I think it makes perfect sense to argue we are going to have, hopefully, hopefully in the future, a decent amount of adoption. But how much is that going to be? Well, okay, this is the beauty of blockchain. You can literally check the numbers live. And in about, let's say, six months to a year, I think we are going to have our answers. Now, let's talk about what we can realistically expect from caffeine in the future and in the short term again i believe the main focus will probably be on proving stability 
because honestly we still don't really know how well caffeine is going to perform under real world pressure like for example thousands of applications running at once or complex integrations such as payments and also APIs. so i think it is probably safe to assume that we are going to see i would say relatively fast growth among indie builders small startups and even creators testing it out and some small and mid-sized companies who knows might even start building internal tools on it and of course i want to be very very clear in my view there will absolutely still be bugs but if the system holds up through these earlier stages without really breaking big time i think that's actually when people are going to start talking about it seriously as very much real infrastructure now let's talk about the midterm and by that i'm talking about let's say the next maybe two to four years and in that period if definity is going to keep building caffeine could grow into something much much larger who knows maybe even if you are lucky an alternative to traditional cloud services now i fully understand this is just at this point in time absolute speculation but you know why not i think there is actually a real chance that we might see a full on ai app market where people are going to sell and share applications built completely by artificial intelligence and developers could create templates that anybody can clone customize and launch instantly and this is going to be where larger organizations might start paying attention a little bit especially when it comes to europe where digital sovereignty and also data control are slowly but surely becoming very much huge priorities and finally let's look a bit further out i don't know maybe five years or beyond and if the idea of a self-writing internet really is going to work by that time well okay this could completely change who gets to build software we are talking literally about millions of new creators since caffeine is fully available on your smartphone and all of these people are going to be able to make their own applications just by talking to artificial intelligence but at the same time it's very important to note that also depends on some big unknowns for instance will the ai generated code stay secure as things scale up or here is another question can icp actually handle that much computing power without costs going absolutely crazy and my final question will people actually trust applications that are updated and maintained entirely by ai these are in my view some very much fair questions so i don't really believe that we should be like overwhelmingly optimistic okay it's very very important to understand that i think we are definitely on the right track but the road to success is definitely in my view going to be bumpy so as final conclusion in my view caffeine is going to be a great product but right now again it is still a bit of an experiment and we haven't really seen it completely tested at global scale yet and enterprise adoption will take a bit of time so you know don't really get your hopes up right now effective immediately if Definity executes well, I think there's like a real chance that caffeine could become to AI what GitHub was to open source. And we are talking about the standard platform everybody is going to end up using. So overall, I think caffeine is a great product. But having said that, that doesn't really mean that we should be right now overwhelmingly bullish and count on some huge, huge amounts of adoption effective immediately. This is going to take time, but it's very important to check the data and see are we on the right track or not. As long as we are on the right track, no problem at all. I think we can all be a bit patient. So in terms of fundamentals, definitely positive news. And if you got time, I would highly suggest to give this article a read yourself. I think you are going to find a lot of fascinating points in it. Now, let's go on the live chart and see what is going on in like very short term and why do i believe we are probably going to see soon a decent move on the upside not only in icp but hopefully in a lot of other altcoins as well okay here we are and if you remember the last time that we talked about icp we were i think right around this area and the idea was that most likely we are having a one two three four and then probably in the next 48 hours we are going to have another move down into phase 5 in order to complete the sub waves for hopefully an a 
B, C, zigzag. And then we can expect a good bounce. And right now we are having a bounce. But whether this actually is a bullish sign or not, you know what? That can be up for the best. You see, in terms of Elios waves, if you want to argue that maybe we have hit the low, then okay. Off of the lowest low, you have to be able to find a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave up. This specific count is called an impulse. Rules for it are we should not have overlapping of the waves between R wave 2 and 4 and in any kind of 5 wave, R wave 3 should not be the smallest wave. This is actually a big no-no in Helios waves and in terms of the sub waves, I think you know it. We must have 5 wave up into wave 1, 3 and 5 and for wave 2 and 4 we can have different scenarios let's say wxy into wave 4 in this example and then an abc into wave 2 now let's go on the live chart and see what is going on and is there actually a bullish way to interpret this structure why am i saying this because i think so far at least and again this is the keyword pay attention so far we can say well okay relative to this move down seems like that we are having kind of a slow and choppy move on the upside and clearly between our pullbacks down we do have overlapping of the waves let's actually real quick measure this move timing wise this is by the way on 15 minute time frame this move up is so far taking us about let's say three and a half days on the other hand this whole move on the downside took us somewhere around three and a half days which means yep so far at least bulls are nowhere to be seen however i think that might change so you see not only in bitcoin not only in icp but also i believe in generally the whole crypto market this week is actually going to be a bullish one for us and hopefully we are going to soon recover from all this madness and whether before that we are going to have like one more move down and then a bounce that can be up for debate and right now i actually do like to be a bit optimistic in icp and generally the whole altcoin market now in case of icp here is what's going on in my mind because we are having clearly overlapping of the waves between our pullbacks down i'm willing to argue maybe maybe these are actually a series of one twos and here is how i can argue that i can say maybe we are having five up into one correction for wave two and right now we are on our way to complete the sub waves for a good wave three and then four and then five and this yellow five wave up might be into a larger degree wave three four five and even that one is going to be into a wave three and then correction for four another move up into wave five you know this so now if this count is truly in play we should do one very important thing we should see a beautiful acceleration of our move up in internet computer i'm gonna say probably in the next 72 hours why should we accelerate our move up because this scenario suggests that at the moment we are on our way up to complete a series of wave threes and in terms of Elios waves you want to remember that wave three is known to be quite a strong and sharp whether it's going to be on the down or maybe upside doesn't really matter generally wave three is quite a strong wave so this move up again if the scenario is in play has to continue and accelerate quite a bit now every single scenario should have a very important invalidation point and what's it going to be for this one i think it's actually going to be taking this important slow about let's say three dollars on the dot why do we care about this slow because let's say from here or actually i'm gonna say a bit higher in icp we're gonna get a move down and take the loss at that point i do not believe that there's actually a decent chance that we're gonna have in here a complete buy wave and finding it is going to be quite hard to a degree that is going to make me say you know what this is probably just a correction and structure since this is kind of a slow move up and we are having a very strong move down meaning that our move down unfortunately overall in icp is not over yet and this phase is going to continue and then we are going to take the lowest slow for the first target about 2.8 dollars but yeah maybe we are going to go a bit lower than that and then i'm going to count on a good bounce and again the reason for why i do like to see a good bounce is not because icp's chart specifically looks great no this is about the whole altcoin market 
and the fact that in my view this week is going to be kind of a bullish one for us so right now as long as we are not taking the loss let's count on a good move on the upside and if this count specifically is happening our move up has to continue at quite a bit of a rapid pace so you know let's hope this is going to play out and i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in internet computers short anyway if you found any value in my content i would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on twitter and if you want more maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto or maybe you want to learn some decent ta in order to be able to make good money in the markets you can become a member and ask me anything you want and until the next update i hope you have a wonderful time with your family and loved ones. Goodbye.